Welcome to the Marketing News for Thursday, July 28th. I am your host, Jay Osterholm. And this is breaking news. The White House is once again pushing boundaries, uh, but this time in social media. Following a business as usual fiscal debate on Monday, President Obama and his advisors began utilizing Twitter to help citizens understand the debt ceiling and deficit reduction negotiations currently taking place. Throughout the week, National Economic Council members Brian Deese and Jason Furman have been holding, quote, office hours where they post and respond to questions and comments live on Twitter. The Obama administration has recognized the power of large-scale uh, online engagement as an effective communications medium from the election uh, of Obama to a Twitter town hall meeting discussion, the economy and jobs. As White House hopefuls prepare for the upcoming campaign season, we expect to see an even greater use of these tools to reach and interact with voters. And in our second story, perhaps smartphones really can do everything. Recent developments by Palo Alto-based Azumio include the Instant Heart Rate app, which lets users uh, monitor their heart rate by holding their finger over the phone's camera for 10 seconds. In the past nine months, more than 8 million people have downloaded this app on iPhone and Android devices. A multitude of apps and devices have surfaced in recent months that use smartphones and their many sensors to perform a host of medical tasks such as scanning the inside of a child's ear, measuring blood pressure, and even checking for malaria. Don't ask me how that one works. Azumio is expected to release an app that can qualify stress levels by performing routine stress checks on the user. These developments by Azumio have helped raise awareness around the potential of smartphones as a biofeedback device that can perpetuate the growing trend of mobile health in our increasingly mobile society.